Douglas Munzara's MDCT party faces implosion as it emerges that the upcoming March by-elections have further widened divisions in his party, with some members openly defying him and taking sides with other top leaders in the party. The MDCT is scouting for candidates to represent the party in the March 26 by-elections to fill a total of 133 local government and parliamentary seats left vacant after the recall of MDC Alliance legislators and councillors. The candidate selection process has widened the rift between Munzara and his deputies Thokazani Koop and Elias Mizuri and Chairman Morgan Kamichi. Kamichi, Mizuri and Koop are reportedly flexing muscles, pushing for their preferred candidates for the by-elections as they create their own political power bases ahead of the party's March 5 elective Congress. Last week, Munzara suffered a huge blow when four selected candidates in Bulawayo declined his offer to represent the party in the by-elections. Dorcas Nioni, Ward 19, and Magwigwal, former councillor Shella Musandev and Annie Nyathi both for Makakoba Ward 8 and Sabusiso Adams of Mpapoma Ward 9, rejected Munzara and openly pledged their allegiance to Coop. Indications are that the party is now in a dilemma, running short of candidates for some wards and constituencies ahead of the March 26 by-elections. They have resorted to picking any names of suspected Munzara loyalists hoping they will agree to contest on the party ticket. The standard is in possession of the party's list of candidates showing that the MDCT is yet to find candidates for nine House of Assembly and 24 ward council seats. The vacant parliamentary slots are Harare East, Mbaringwa South, Munezi East, Mutasa South, Mbizo, Marandera East, Binga North, Pumula, and Murewa. The party is also yet to find candidates for Guru Ward 7, Takoira Ward 3, Baringwa Ward 25 and 34, Mbizo Ward 12, Zibig Ward 8, Gaku North Ward 23, Insiza Ward 20 and 11, Gwanda Ward 7, Umzingwane Ward 20, Bite Bridge Ward 6, Kusal Lupane Ward 15 and 19, Bikita Ward 21, Cheredzi Ward 16 and 9, Chigudu Ward 14, Zbimba Ward 4, Mondoro Ward 10, Nyanga Ward 9, Muter Ward 17 and 9 and but the list also shows that some constituencies and wards have two to six members jostling for candidature. The aspiring candidates belong to different camps aligned to Munzara, Coop, Mizuri, and Kamichi. Some of the constituencies with several candidates are Kuwadzana West and Mufakas with five applicants each, Makakoba Ward 8 with four applicants, Kuwadzana Ward 37 with five applicants, Mufakas Ward 34 with seven applicants, Buitariro Ward 43 has four applicants among many others with several applicants. Party spokesperson Witness Du, however downplayed the divisions in an interview with The Standard on Thursday. He said the party was still vetting prospective candidates. I do not know about this list. I am in the elections directorate, where we receive applications from where we are going to bring out the list of all the people who would be nominated. We have not compiled such a list as a department, Dube said. We are still receiving applications for candidates from our members. The nomination court sits on January 24, and they claim we are struggling to field candidates, yet we are still far from nomination date. In fact, we are going to be oversubscribed in every constituency, and Ward. We are free as a party to field the best candidates in every constituency. We are still vetting candidates. We just registered them as interested parties, and they will go through the vetting process to qualify. In December, Coop dragged Munzara to court to stop moves to recall her from Parliament. Coop said she had received information that a National Council meeting held on November 26, 2021, had resolved to boot her out of Parliament. 
Mwenzara denied the claims. Meanwhile, Mwenzara has said his party would contest a by elections under the MDC Alliance name. He wrote to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, claiming ownership of the MDC Alliance name and symbols. But MDC Alliance senior member David Coulter said Mwenzara's action exposed his opportunism. Mwenzara's letter to the ZEC is just shameless opportunism, written knowing he has Emerson Nangagwa, ZANU PF, ZEC and the courts on his side, but not the people. He and his cabal will discover that the vision, people, and policies behind a name are far more important than a name itself," Coulter said.